Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel. I hope you're all having a great day. If you stumbled across this channel thinking this was my main channel, this is actually my second channel. So uh, you got a whole nother channel to subscribe to because this isn't my main channel where I do all the commentary and the scripted nonsense. This is where I like to get a, a little bit goofier, a little bit more unscripted stuff and get a little bit wacky and drink LaCroix. So let's do it. Today I got a lemon LaCroix, not lemon cello, but just a regular old lemon. I thought it would be fun to play a game on my second channel. I don't think I've ever done like a gaming video or anything of the sort. So I asked on my Instagram what game you guys wanted to see me play. A lot of you said episode, which I have been meaning to play for a while. But I also know that a lot of other YouTubers do videos about episode. So I don't want to make it seem like it's my thing or anything. Curtis makes videos about episode. He's made two videos and they're both really funny. So if you want more episode content, go check out his. And it's also taken me a really long time to like get into episode because I haven't found a story that I like, but I feel like I should just jump into it. Just like pick a story that sounds good and just dive into it and just see if it works out. And if it's fun, then it's fun. And if it's not, then I'll never post this video. So I found this story called a YouTuber's reality. And I thought it would be fun because I'm a YouTuber in reality. So I'm curious to see if the author of this episode story has a realistic view of what YouTubers lives are like. And if not, you know, what's it gonna be like? So the description of the story is just a girl who decides to create her own YouTube channel. Once her videos blow up, what will happen? I don't know, what will happen? Will she quit her job or whatever she does? Will she drop out of school? Who's to say? All right, well, let's just jump into it. Let's see what it's like to be a YouTuber. Also, yeah, my hair is different because I didn't do it today. I sort of gave up on styling it because it's gotten too long and I haven't gotten a haircut in a while. Also, this is a new Greg shirt you can get it at dannygonzalez.store. It's minty. Hey guys, I'm Chloe, the author of a YouTube reality. I'm just starting out, so I'm sorry. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. I'm going to give you a chance to make your main character now and also one of the guys. One more thing, I'm so sorry, but your name has to be Mia and the guy's name has to be Skylar. Okay, so right off the bat, we're starting off this story with an apology because she messed up. I don't know if this is a thing in most episode stories where the author has to like say something at the beginning to be like, hey, it's me, the author. That'd be cool if like movies did that where the director came on before the movie and he was like, hey, it's me, George Lucas. I made the Star War. <laughs> Enjoy the Star War. The main character has to be Luke. Okay, so she said the girl's name has to be Mia and the guy's name has to be, I already forgot. Okay, what's your name? Greg. How can I make Greg sound more girly? Greg E. Greg with an I. <laughs> Ooh, now I get to customize her. Okay. So let's, uh, I mean, she already looks fine. I don't know. Let's give her a friggin' chiseled square jaw, old, old eyes. I don't know how old this girl's supposed to be. I'm assuming she's like a teen, but she's gonna have some old ass eyes and she's gonna have a mature round nose. Can I just give her all mature features? Mature medium mouth. <laughs> this is gonna be an old lady. Okay, yeah, let's make her hair. Oh, there's dreadlocks? No, I don't think so. Bedhead? She'll have just gotten out of bed in every scene that she's in. This is gonna be awesome. Can I make it gray? No, I can make it platinum blonde. That's close as I can make it to gray, but that actually looks pretty good. Okay, and let's just make her pale as can be. Perfect! And now, okay, now we get to customize the guy. I don't even remember what his name is supposed to be, so his name is gonna be Squeet. His name's gonna be Squeet. Let's also make him pale. Okay, can I make him look really old too? Sarcastic eyes. He looked at me with his sarcastic eyes. They were like, oh, I'm eyes. Oh yeah, I'm definitely eyes. Sarcastic eyes, you can make them black. You can give him black sarcastic eyes. We can give him nice thin eyebrows. Yeah, we'll give him a nice gaunt look like he hasn't eaten in weeks, a tiny little nose, and a giant mouth. All right, looking good, Squeet. He's perfect. Okay, so the beginning of the story says, at Mia's house in the morning. So I'm I'm assuming that we're never gonna see the name Greggy again. It's just gonna be Mia, which I guess is, I guess I should have seen coming. I don't feel the best. Maybe it's because I'm aging so fast. I'm 90 years old. I'm a 16 year old in the body of a 90 year old. Mia, breakfast. I'm not even ready yet. What should I wear today? Maybe a dress. Oh, wow. She's stunting. Look at her out here. Mum. Oh, is this a British game? Do I have to do a British accent for these people? Mummy. <laughs> Mum, do you realize what time it is? Eight o'clock. Okay, I'm not gonna do a British accent. I can't. Uh, no, sweetie. It's nine. Oh, snap. I'm gonna be late. Bye, Mum. Love you. <laughs> I like that she's just running in place. I haven't tapped yet, so I assume she's gonna run off the screen when I tap but she's already started running. She's just like, All right, see you, Mom. I'm going off to school. Off she goes. Oh, and she, 
I thought she was gonna run the way that she was facing, but she turned around and walked the other way. I gotta go! Later on at school. Okay, so I was right, she is a teenager. So it is funny that I made her look mature. Yes, mom. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is like our friend Grace or something. Hey! Hey, are you still coming over after school? Yeah, for sure. Did you see Shane Dawson's new video? Yes, hello! <laughs> imagine how awesome it would be to become a YouTuber. Yeah, but imagine all the hate we would get, especially from Leah and Becky and the rest of the world. I mean, I don't think it's like guaranteed that you're gonna get a bunch of hate if you become a YouTuber. I really don't get that much hate. I have to really search for it. The vast majority of my audience is like overwhelmingly nice. I feel like you have to do something really shitty to get like <laughs> a decent amount of hate. And I make fun of people on my YouTube channel. That's like all I do. Right off the bat, it's some unrealistic expectations of what being a YouTuber is like. That's very true. Yes, we would definitely get a lot of hate. Okay, maybe they're like racist or something and we don't know. And that's <laughs> that's just sort of like the subtext. They're like, we would definitely get a lot of hate on YouTube. We got some super fucked up opinions. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here's Leah and her friend and Becky, I think her name was. I heard my name. Uh, you're hearing things, girl. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not crazy. And I'm not your girl. <laughs> Come, Becky, let's leave. They're honestly the meanest people I have ever met. That was such a weird conversation. They just came up and they were like, hey, I heard my name. You're hearing things. No, I'm not. Bye. She didn't have anything to say or she seems like she's a bully and she didn't bully them at all. She was just like, did you say my name? I'm not crazy. I gotta go. <laughs> Later on after school, do I need to give them different voices? Is it confusing that I'm using the same voice for all of them? I'm gonna use my normal voice for Mia, and maybe I'll try to come up with different voices for the other characters so it's less confusing. Will I be given any choices in this game? I thought that was like the whole point of the game, is that I can like choose my own destiny and stuff. This is just like reading a book, but I have to tap for each new sentence. What is taking so long? Uh, hey, do you know where Mr. Field's office is? Oh, it's Skylar. Okay, so this is the guy I designed. I guess his name was supposed to be Skylar. He also looks pretty old and hungry. Oh yeah, it's just around the corner. Oh, thank you. Let me guess. After school detention? <laughs> I wouldn't guess that by looking at this guy. He looks old. I'd be like, do you work here? Are you a parent? Yep. I was actually being really good today. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were. Skylar, what are you doing talking to this thing? Uh, oh, okay. All right, I've got a choice here. So I can say, it's actually Mia, get it right. Or, that's not nice. Let's tell her our name. That's actually helpful. And? You think I really care? Is this voice gonna get really annoying? Let's find out. Come, Skylar, we are leaving. <laughs> oh, I'm Skylar, by the way. If you didn't hear her say it two times. I'm Skylar. Yeah, I'm Mia. I can't believe he actually spoke to me. Oh, Grace is back. Oh, now I gotta come up with a voice for Grace? Hey, was that Skylar Bradshaw? Yeah, weird, right? Yes, yeah, very weird. Let's go. Back at Mia's home. Okay, I'm hoping we're gonna get into some YouTube stuff soon. What's gonna... Are... Does she have cigarettes? She's got cigarettes on her nightstand. Is this an old lady? No wonder she looks like that. She's a chain smoker at the age of 14. Why does she have an ashtray on her nightstand? That's so weird. Maybe it only put that there because I gave her all those mature features. I was actually being serious. I want to start a YouTube channel. Just do it. That's gonna be Grace's new voice. I didn't like the other voice. But you know there are going to be haters out there, right? Especially if the girls at school find out about it. Yeah, well... Oh, okay, so we can just keep it a secret? Or I could just not worry about what other people think. Hmm. Do we think that Leah and her friend Becky, I think her name was, are gonna be, are really gonna be mean about it? Should we keep it a secret? What would I do if I was in high school and I had a YouTube channel? Well, actually, I did have a YouTube channel in high school and I didn't keep it a secret, so I'm gonna pick that. Just don't worry about what other people think. You got this, Mia. Yeah, that could work. So, are we gonna do it? You are, not me. What? I can't do it on my own. What? She's not gonna help? Wow. You think you know someone. I'll help you out. I'm not getting in the videos, but fine. What are you gonna film on? I think me mum has an old camera in the basement. I guess I'm just gonna speak in a British accent anytime they say mum. Off they go, down to the basement. Where do we start looking? Maybe in that box that is labeled cameras? Oh, shit, roasted. <laughs> Maybe in the box labeled cameras, dumbass. Found it. Oh, you're so smart. Here we go. Wait, that's just a phone. The old camcorder that they were talking about that was in the basement is like a modern looking iPhone? Why don't they just use their phones? I assume they have phones, right? A lot of YouTubers actually just use their phones. I was pretty surprised to find that out. So you could blow up using anything. You could film with a 
can of LaCroix and blow up. And I'm not just saying that because I love LaCroix. I really mean it. Let's head back upstairs. So, what's our first video? Your first video. Grace is like, this bitch will not stop including me in this. I don't want to get made fun of at school. But at the same time, it's like, well, then stop following her around, Grace. You know? It's like, go home then if you don't want to help. Just do a welcome to my channel video. Oh, that's good. That's clever. How clever. Have you guys seen that TikTok that's a, it's like a cartoon and he puts a lime on the screen and he's like, I'm clever. I'm clever. It's one of my favorite TikToks. Where should we film? Uh, out here should be fine. Okay, let's set the camera up. Is this a good angle? I like that she's just like perfectly covering up Grace. I mean, I guess Grace didn't want to be in the video, but it just kind of seems like kind of savage to be like, how's this angle? The one where, where we, we don't have to look at you. How's that for an angle? Looks fine to me. <laughs> okay, she likes it, I guess. Okay, I'm starting. You got this. As a YouTuber, I got to give some constructive criticism. It seems like they decided to start a YouTube channel, but they don't really know what they're going to do yet. Like, they don't even know what kind of videos they're going to post, which I guess is fine. Like, you can experiment a little bit, but they're even going into their first video not knowing what they're going to do. That's how you end up making like Lele Pons videos where you're just like, I don't know, let's just film whatever. We'll figure it out as we go. Like, what is this introduction video even gonna be? Cause usually in an introduction video, people would be like, on this channel, you can expect to see, you know, penguin reviews. I'm gonna be talking about all the hottest penguins, the most dateable penguins of 2020. This one, hot as fuck. But since they don't know what kind of videos they're gonna post on their channel, I don't, what is the introduction video just gonna be? It's just gonna be like, hey, I am Mia, please subscribe. Hey guys, I'm Mia. Okay, so I guess that is what it's gonna be. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Mia goes on talking about herself and her life. It's not important, you don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to see any of that, any of the interesting stuff. Unaware of what is going to happen in the next few weeks. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed episode one. I'm really sorry for it being short. Please give me feedback. Bye. Oh, okay, well that, so to be continued. We'll do one more episode. I think there's like eight total. So we can, we'll, we'll squeeze another one into this video. Hey guys, welcome back. This episode should be very exciting. Let's get into it. But first, I'll give you a chance to edit your character. So what's your name? <gasps> oh, maybe we get to actually use our name this time. So I'm gonna name her Greggy again. Let's see if we actually get to use the name this time or if she's just gonna be Mia again. I don't think we wanna change anything unless I can give her white hair. No, all the colors are the same. So looks good to me. She's perfect. She's beautiful. I still don't know if I should have posted the video. I really want to, but if I do, it's up for everybody to see. I'm gonna do it. Post it. Damn, that was fast. I doubt it'll even get any views anyway. Later on, at school. Hmm, no views. I knew I wouldn't get any. What's the point? So this is kind of interesting. It's like a, a duality because she wants it to be popular because she wants to be a popular YouTuber, but she also like doesn't want anyone to see it. That's something I kind of relate to, honestly. It's like, I want my videos to get views because it's uh, very gratifying to be a creator and have people watch what you do, but Knowing that like people I know watch my videos kind of freaks me out because I just like picture them watching it And I know they don't laugh at every joke And so just picturing them watching my videos and like not laughing at some of the jokes Just really irks me for some reason because it just like picturing them being like oh that wasn't very funny It's like oh no, I, I'm gonna hide in a hole uh, Forever for the rest of my life. She wants the views. She just doesn't want anyone to see it Somehow she wants her cake and she wants to eat it too, I'd say. Hey Mia, it's me Skylar. Hey Skylar. I was just going to see if you wanted to maybe do something this weekend. That is, if you're not busy. Ooh, a little bit of romance in this too. So it's not just about YouTube, it's about falling in love. Is he asking me out? Um, yeah, for sure. Cool, I'll call you tonight. Sounds great. What was that? Uh, I think he just asked me on a date. What? He's like one of the most popular guys in school. She she says as she points with a fully straightened arm across the room in the opposite direction of where he went. He's one of the most popular boys in school. I even heard that Leah had a little crush on him. Oh shit. Not her arch nemesis. Oh, this one end well. Who cares? Rub it in her face. Ha 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 ha. Grace was the one who was making a big deal about it. And then all of a sudden she's like, ah, actually who cares? I don't 
Who cares? <laughs> what? One of the most popular boys in school and our bully has a crush on him? What, do you think I should not go on a date or what? I don't know. Who cares? I don't care. I don't care about anything. That's so mean. But to be honest, she really deserves it. I would like to point out that we haven't seen any evidence that Leah deserves anything. We haven't seen her bully anyone, really. All we've seen her do is be like, hey, did you say my name? Okay, I'm not crazy. Bye. We haven't really seen her do anything that like warrants revenge. Did you post the video? Yeah, still no views. Just keep posting. You're gonna gain subscribers eventually. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll make another video after school. That's good. I like that her first video didn't go viral. I was kind of worried it was gonna make her like introduction video go viral, which I've never seen happen before. Unless it's for like a, a person that's already famous making a YouTube channel. Like Dwayne The Rock Johnson's intro video probably went viral. But like just a random person being like, hey, I'm Mia and this is my channel. Like, that would never go viral. So I was worried it was gonna make that video go viral, but I guess she's gonna keep posting, so that's good. Also, I'm just realizing it's still not using the name that we added. We're still Mia, so that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Why did it let us change our name? Was it just like, you can change it to Mia again if you want to. If it wasn't Mia before, you better make it Mia now. I've gotta run, I'll meet you at lunch. Off she goes. Oh, I got a view. Ooh, one view. Mia, your video has got over 100 views. Are you serious? Oh. Okay, so is this video gonna go viral? Yes, look! Oh my god! She's not even looking at her phone. She's just like, oh shit! A hundred views? Wow! I wish I could see it, but my phone's too high. It's a start, I guess. I'll say, a hundred views for your first video where all you do is just like introduce yourself? That's pretty good. You have to make another video when you get home. Yeah, I will. What about though? Make a story time video. That's a good idea. Nothing interesting has happened to me. Ever. In my whole life, nothing interesting has ever happened to me. I've been sitting in a room smoking cigarettes for 60 years, and then I went to high school and met you. That's all, that's the only thing that's ever happened to me. And that, my friend, is why clickbait was invented. Okay, this episode story is kind of taking a cynical approach to being a YouTuber. It's kind of like, you gotta lie in order to make it. This is kind of interesting. That's terrible. I'll find something to make it about. Remember in first class when you ate a berry off the big tree and everyone told you they were poisonous? Yeah. Talk about that and caption the video, I was poisoned. Oh, so now I can decide whether it's a good idea or not. Should I lead Mia down the path of lying in her YouTube videos or should we try to stay honest? Shit. I don't know. What do I want to come of this? Here's my plan. I'm gonna say it's okay to lie at first and then, and once we get a little bit bigger, maybe we'll stop lying if it gives me an option again. But you know what? Just to get the ball rolling a little bit, we can be a little bit clickbaity. That's fine. That's a really good idea, actually. I think it's a great idea. I'll decide when I get home. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't actually get to make any decisions for her. I just get to decide what she says, and then she'll decide later. Okay, well, I've got an appointment to go to, so I'll see you tomorrow. She's right. I'm not gonna get views unless I use some sort of clickbait. I'm just not interesting. That afternoon, Mia's phone begins to ring. Hello? Oh, hey, Skylar. Tomorrow after school? Yeah, for sure. Oh shit, I think we got a date. We got a date with that hubba hubba hunk of a man, Skylar. Okay, bye. He just asked me to go to the movies with him. Yes. Things are looking good for Mia here. She's got a YouTube video on the rise. She's got a hubba hubba hunk of a man. I've never said that before in my life, but I'm, that's how I'm gonna describe Skylar from now on. That hubba hubba hunk of a man. Okay, I've gotta make this video. Okay, camera is set up. And by that she means my phone is in video mode. And that's all the setting up that is required. Here goes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be telling a story time. I was poisoned! That's actually pretty good. Just like a attention grabber, a nice hook right from the start. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be telling a story. I was poisoned! So basically in first grade, in first class, we all went on an excursion to the zoo. I'm assuming first class is like first grade. The person who wrote this is like British or something, or maybe they live somewhere else. But they say mom and they say first class, so they're not American. That's for sure. Speak American, dude. In first class, we all went on an excursion to the zoo and there were these big trees there. I was so starving, I would have eaten anything. So I picked a berry from this tree and I ate it. Then next minute, all these kids are running around saying, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh shit. So I was freaking out. How did all the kids at once know to say, you're gonna die. Like why did everyone immediately think that's poison? We all know. We all took a poisonous, 
plants class together. Were you not there? It was like at the community center. We all took it together. You're gonna die. Mia continues to tell the story with excitement. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, that's done. I wish I could see one of her YouTube videos. We only just get like snippets of them. Just sort of like the intro and then the story is just kind of like and so on. And we never really get to see what the full YouTube video is. I would like to critique it. Now I just need to post it. Done. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Dude, actually, honestly, that's pretty relatable. When I film a YouTube video, I can't like do anything for the rest of the day. My brain is so fried from trying to make sure I don't fuck up while I'm filming that I just like lay on the couch and do nothing for the rest of the day. So that's actually pretty relatable. Good night, world. Through the night, Mia's phone does not stop buzzing. One buzz after another. That is how it would go if it didn't stop buzzing. What's happening? Find out on the next episode of a YouTuber's reality. Also, I really wanna get the first three episodes out and then I promise the episodes will become much longer. Chloe. All right, well, I say we call it there, fam. There's the first two episodes of a YouTuber's reality. That's two out of eight. You know, if this video doesn't turn out super boring, maybe we can finish the series some other time. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys had some LaCroix. If you want to get the shirt again, it's at dannygonzalez.store, or you can get the hoodie version of it. It's pretty much the same color, and that's pretty much the end of the video. Let's end it right now.